And let's now take a look at some of the other structures of unit cells that we can have in a dense packing of atoms. Not necessarily dense packing, but any sort of packing of atoms in crystalline structures. So we already saw quite a few videos on the simple cubic structure where the dimensions in all directions are the same, size A, B, and C are the same, and the relative angles between uh, the various axes, if you want to call that, between the sides of the cube, they're all the same. So it's a straightforward, simple cube. And you know, we have different dimensions depending upon how atoms are packed in there, but as long as A, B, and C stay the same, and the angles are 90 degrees, we have a simple cubic structure, and that's a very common unit cell structure in chemistry. But we also have other ways in which crystalline structures will, will be packed together. We have what we call tetragonal, tre tetragonal, depends upon how you want to pronounce it, where it's basically a simple cubic structure that has been elongated. So A and B are still the same, the base of this is the same, but it's now, instead of a straightforward cube, it's now a rectangular cube, so to speak. So it's a longer cube in one dimension. So A is equal to B, but not equal to C. C typically longer or shorter. And then A, well, I would say typically longer. And the angles are still the same, so it's still 90 degree angles in all directions. So now we have orthorhombic, which is basically the same as tetragonal, except now A and B are no longer the same. A is not equal to B, and it's not equal to C. So therefore, we now have a basic cubic structure that where the size A, B, C are not equal to each other. We still have the same angles, 90 degree angles, so it's kind of like a box, a shoe box, so to speak, where the dimensions in, in all three directions, the, the length in all three directions or dimensions are not the same anymore. So the next shape, rhombohedral, you can see that there's still a fair amount of symmetry that A, B, and C is the same. So the sides are still the same. It's basically taking what we have, a cubic structure here that's the same, and it's pushed over in such a way that the angle is no longer equal to 90 degrees. Now the question is, which angle? Well, all three angles are no longer 90 degrees. But the angles are still the same to each other. With other words, what's happened is it's been squished over in one direction, the second direction, and third direction in such a way that, that the angle alpha angle is the same as the beta angle is the same as the, as the uh, gamma angle. Alpha, beta, and gamma is all the same. And so what basically is being squished in this direction, squished in that direction, squished in the last direction. So in all three directions, it's squished over the same amount so that it's kind of a, a squeeze. Uh, basically, if you look at it, every single side now will be kind of like a diamond shape. Instead of being a perfect square shape, it'll now be a diamond shape. This will be diamond shape, that'll be diamond shape. So every basic shape, every side of that from rhombohedral is now a diamond shape. Okay, the, the uh, now for five, now in the fifth one here, we talk about monoclinic. So monoclinic and rhombohedral are kind of similar. The only difference is that A, B, and C are not the same in size. They're all different in size, so it's kind of like an orthorhombic shape where A, B, and C are not the same, but it's being pushed over in one direction. Monoclinic means that it leans over or is pushed over in one direction only such way that alpha and gamma are equal to 90 degrees, but beta is not. So basically in this, in this view from here, it's been pushed over to the right in one direction only. Triclinic here is a very similar to rhombohedral. The only difference here is that um, A, B, and C are not the same. So the various dimensions, depth, width, and height are not the same. And triclinic mean that it's leaning in three directions, but the lean is different in every dimension, every direction. Here the lean was the same in every direction. Here the lean is different in every direction. So that's why the angles are not equal to each other and none of them are equal to 90 degrees. So it's basically leaning in the three dimensions. And finally, the seventh shape is what we call hexagonal. So it's kind of like the benzene ring at the top. There's still an atom in the middle like that, but there's an hexagonal shape. And then of course, it's also structured in the length direction like this. Notice that A and B are all the same. So in this respect, we don't have a square at the top, but every one of these sides are equal in length. We can also notice that these lengths are not the same as these lengths right here. So the C direction is different from these directions right here. Notice that alpha and beta is 90 degrees, so it's standing straight up, it's not leaning. And then the gamma is 120 degrees, which means that the internal angles, let me show you, so this internal angle right here would be 120 degree angle, which is normal for a hexagon. So it's a straight, it's like a hexagon standing straight up, it's not leaning, and these sides are all the same, but it's higher this way than 
length than lengthwise along the sides. So those are seven basic structures, basic crystal structures. We will see more of that later on, as long as right now at this point you just realize there's various ways in which crystalline structures can be organized. And so there's a whole bunch of crystals out there uh, that are formed that are in these particular shapes, depending upon the molecular forces between the molecules and the ions and so forth that come, that come together and form crystals, depending upon how those are structured, we end up with these seven basic shapes. The one that we're most familiar with and we'll use most of the time will be this simple cubic structure, which is the kind of structure you will see in most kind of compounds that we deal with in, in, in organic chemistry.